Hey everyone, and welcome to day 9 of my horror movie review marathon, and I've got the Invisible Man 1933 movie review. A man desperate for a cure makes it very hard for others to see a way to help him. Does this still hold up to be a great universal monster movie? So as far as the story goes, this 1933 film, which has a perfect score on Rotten Tomatoes, is based off of the story by H.G. Wells and starts off with a mysterious man trying to find a place to stay to complete his scientific work. With this movie being the first time I'm literally seeing this and I've seen almost every single Universal Monster movie to date, that it left me curious to know where this one was headed. I mean, I've literally seen how those other horror movies have turned out. And James Whale directed this as well as Frankenstein and The Bride of Frankenstein. And I actually really enjoyed those movies, so I was really excited to see this one. And it goes back and forth to the perspective of other key characters in this movie. I really liked how obviously the main focus was going to be on the doctor who turns into the invisible man and I just felt like it was very well written and very well paced uh, for a movie like this and it just kept me excited to see you know where this all was going to go. So as far as the casting goes you've got Claude Rains who plays Jack Griffith, Griffith and he was excellent as the Invisible Man who gave this memorable performance that was comedic yet charming uh, and a role that also kind of kept him scary at times uh, and especially when uh, he was meant to act insane and I just thought he was very good in his role and I would have definitely loved to be in his shoes see you know what it was like to uh, be invisible and it was just so impressive Gloria Stewart who obviously if you're familiar with that old lady from Titanic obviously this was way before that, but she was uh, inevitably playing this love interest and is not seen as much on screen and I thought her interactions with the Invisible Man were also pretty nice even though I heard that maybe she wasn't meant to be a love interest like it was uh, in the book, uh, but it but she doesn't always stand out in front of the camera, unlike another female character that I just couldn't stop laughing at with all of that over dramatic line delivery. The things that I liked about this movie was that the camera work was pretty good and you could see everything and it made you feel like you were on a stage, like you were really there, like they were just performing it and it just felt so authentic and real especially with the set design and the way they made the man invisible looked really cool especially for this time period I mean I've always wanted to see what it'd be like to be invisible because of all those cool pranks that he pulled on people especially the police uh, officers and it was just kind of funny uh, as well as also kind of terrifying in a way so overall I would say that this movie I, I feel like is one of the better universal movie monster movies that I've seen and I'm really glad that I saw it so I would highly recommend seeing this movie if you guys haven't or if you've seen the other movie monster movies which one was your favorite out of the bunch so I would give this five hearts on the heart rate scale so let me know in the comments what you guys thought of The Invisible Man 1933 and come back tomorrow for day 10 of my horror movie review marathon. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Trail Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys later.